Hello again and welcome to the Cliff Ellis Show. I'm your host, Brandon Dunn, along with Coastal Carolina men's basketball coach Cliff Ellis. And coach, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, they would like to say here in the South. You got a couple more weeks of Big South play, but boy, what a week it was this past week. Well, I tell you what, every game is just, a, it, it, it has so much importance to it. And uh, this is like the conference tournament. We're in the thick of the race with, with six other teams. And uh, every game has significance, no matter who you play, what the circumstances are. And, <laughs> you know, right now you can't afford to lose. In two weeks you can't lose because you're out. But it makes game exciting. And I told our team, you're in the race, and that's a great feeling. It's just very unusual to have seven teams <laughs> in the race. It's one of those conference races that, Coach, you alluded to earlier, you've never seen. And nope. uh, it's going to make for a fun two weeks. I guess maybe not for a, maybe not for a coach, but for the fans standpoint. Well, I certainly enjoyed Saturday afternoon because it's the first time that we've been able to, you know, I, I really enjoyed watching our team play because we played about as well as we could. But we know that there's just going to be some, <laughs> there's going to be some knockdown dragouts, so to speak, that are that are headed our way. Uh, we got a tough game Monday, but we got some tough games in that tournament. We got some tough games to go down the stretch. Well, let's go back to the week that was and show you what happened on Saturday as Coastal hosted Liberty, the second meeting between these two. The first one went the way of the Shauna Clears. How would things go on Saturday? Let's get the action going, Coach. And right off the bucket, you guys go right down. And Tristan Curtis showing his presence early. Got a couple of big buckets there inside, and you clearly wanted to show your midst inside. Yeah, we wanted to get the ball inside, and we were able to convert some ba baskets inside. We knew that they were going to try to come inside. And we we talked about our team the first five minutes, our defense. We want to be able to get the ball in the paint by pass or dribble. And then we, we, we were able to make some shots. Those inside buckets led to some outside buckets because Elijah Wilson came in. And boy, what a, what a game he had. We're going to talk about that a little bit earlier in the highlights. But he comes up with a big three here. And then Cameron, he follows suit. Josh does with another big three. And before you knew it, it was 14-6. And Liberty calls a timeout. Well, I think that Josh and Elijah's threes were a real big boost. Uh, you know, we shot the ball well today. We really played our A game, but they helped us get started. And uh, that's a good thing to see because when you have that three ball going, it opens up the inside game. And the inside game, if they got it going, it opens up the three-point game. So we were on all cylinders today. You talk about your inside presence. We've talked about him for the last couple of weeks. Marcus Freeman, another solid game today. Had two big buckets there in the span of about a minute and a half. And uh, you could just tell that he's gaining a lot of confidence. He's gaining a lot of confidence. The big factor was the fact that he got eight rebounds in, in 11 minutes the first half. And his presence was felt. Uh, they felt his presence. We could see that he had it going. And you could tell. I thought that Marcus and Josh, that lift off the bench was strong for us. Siobhan Wiggins hits a big three, and before you know it, Coach, you're up nine with about ten minutes to go. And then Gillis just does what Gillis does, uh, just produces, despite the fact he didn't he didn't practice the last yeah, couple of days. I'm very proud of Warren. Uh, unfortunately uh, for he and his family, and our thoughts and prayers are out with him, but he lost his grandmother, uh, and he had to go home for the, for the, for the funeral. It was actually uh, Saturday, and the viewing was Friday. So it's been a tough time for him, and he wasn't able to practice. He, he left for Philadelphia after the Charleston Southern game, and uh, uh, so our thoughts and prayers are with him. That, that's a wonderful job that he did without practice and being tired and having a lot on his mind. Coming down the stretch, Cameron again hits a big three. You're up 10 with 3.30 left to go, and then Cameron again with another jumper. And, Coach, you're up 37-26 at the break and feeling pretty good. Well, up at 11, double digit, but you know the way that they shot the three at the end of the, right before the end of the half, I, Dale's son, Ethan Lair, hit some big threes. Uh, and they've got that inside presence. We know the first five minutes of this second half are big. And that's what we talked about at halftime. And the first five minutes, we went out and did our job. And then from there, we just kind of kept it going. It just escalated. You come out, as you just alluded to, hit some big buckets. Uh, Wilson hit a big three, and all of a sudden, uh, you guys are, are feeling the love. He he really kind of took over where Josh was doing the right. first half, Elijah was doing well, the second half. Everybody was cranking. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody was cranking. I mean, even Michelle Nanga comes in and hits it. Everybody was on all cylinders. It was the A game. We've had two of those, high point in this game, but it was the A game, and uh, the, the, it, it was just beautiful to watch. 
Everybody likes dunks. We have to talk about the dunks. A nice little alley-oop down low from Wiggins to Badu. That little flush there got the crowd going, and uh, those are always fun. Yeah, absolutely. Nice play, nice pass, nice, nice feed, and, and Badu's got those hops. He does have the hops. Yeah. He does have the hops. As you mentioned, uh, Michelle Inaga coming off the bench and a, and a nice spark there in the second half, hit some big threes for you. And uh, as you mentioned, everybody was feeling it, but you haven't seen Michelle shoot like that in a, in a while. Well, if, if he gets the lift three, he'll make it. It's just when, it, when it's rushed. That's, that's when he'll have the biggest, that's when he'll have the hardest time. But it was nice seeing him knock that shot down because he can. Elijah comes back, hits a couple of mother, uh, another big three here, and he just had one of those games that he just seems to be getting more and more confident in his game and feeling that he knows what he's supposed to do when you put him on the floor. Well, there's no doubt about that. I think I think our whole team came out confident. You know, it says a lot about our team after a defeat Wednesday night. You know, it it, it it says a lot that you come back and battle and you come out and play positively. Uh, this is a good group of guys. They're just in a league with six other teams that that are right there with them so makes it interesting and uh, you have to keep your head about you and you have to stay positive and they're doing that. Coastal Carolina goes on to win this one 96-56. They put up 59 points in the second half. It's the largest margin of victory in the Cliff Ellis era in the Big South. Coach, you've never beaten anybody like this in the Big South before today. Well, it was, like I said, it was just one of those games where everything's right. Liberty's had a hard time. They've had a lot of injuries. They've had a lot of things. Dale's gone through a lot. Uh, but I can't say enough about our team and the way they played. And how about that dunk by Colton there at the end? That was that's a highlight reel right there. That's posterization. <laughs> the HTC peak performer for this win over Liberty was Josh Cameron with 17 points, one board in 20 minutes of action. But coach, he's been the spark plug all year long. And again today, he was definitely the, the spark plug in this one. Well, you asked me to give one player peak performer. This was a great team win. But I'll have to say that Josh coming off the bench, you know, Elijah hit a couple of threes early, but Josh really gave a spark off the bench. And, uh, you know, in my mind, it would go to Josh and Marcus in the way that they played off the bench. Uh, you know, let's give it to two people. Let's give it Marcus Freeman, eight rebounds in the first half. Huge. And then Josh Cameron. Let's give it to two. I'd like to give it to the whole team, but let's give it to two people. It's only fitting that Josh Cameron gets the HTC peak performer for this game because, Coach, he's the feature we have this week. He's done extremely well for you. A uh, couple of hiccups here and there, but all in all, he's been one of the uh, true benefactors for you in this program. Well, when Josh is on his game, you know, he's hard to stop. He, that was his, that was, you see, you're seeing the A game out of Josh, and uh, he, he's a guy that uh, is a threat. And when he is that threat and he can take advantage of the defense, then it makes our team stronger. Mark Haggard has more on Josh Cameron and what he's meant to this Shauna Clear program. Six foot one senior guard Josh Cameron is Coastal Carolina's shot in the arm off the bench. The Wisconsin native transferred to CCU after his sophomore season at Connor State College in Oklahoma, and he's getting better with age. This year I feel like I'm a little bit stronger than I was last year, so uh, getting to the rim is it, definitely feel a little bit easier this year than it did last year. Um, i just been working hard, man, just working on my game, trying to trying to improve my shot, improve my defense, uh, just everything, just trying to improve everything. After a solid junior season at Coastal, Cameron lost his starting job. He was suspended earlier this season for one game by Coach Ellis, but Cameron has come back with a better attitude. Let's not learn when you get frustrated. Just just keep pushing, and um, you ain't really got to express everything that, that you feel. So uh, a lesson learned was just, just to keep pushing, and, and it's going to be times where where it don't go the way you want it to go, but um, you just got to keep pushing. That's, that's how life is. Coach Ellis talks about Cameron's place in coastal history with his great outside range when it comes to knocking down three-pointers. Without question, Josh is one of the better three-point shot shooters we've had here. We had some great ones, Jack Leisure. Uh, there's been a lot of good ones uh, that have come through the pike, and Mario Edwards was a good one, and you know we've had we've had many many good ones. But without question, he's been one of the the ones since I've been here. He's been one of the better three-point shooters. Cameron is averaging around 12 points a game for Coastal, and is one of the experienced players the Shots can count on in their backcourt rotation. I'm always come out and be aggressive, and I, I'm, every shot I shoot, I'm thinking it's going to go in. 
Josh bring a lot to the table. You know, he's a great leader, you know, especially coming off the bench, one of our leader scorer. I mean, it's my last year and uh, it's the last couple games. So uh, trying to hit a, hit a run here and, and hopefully I can help my team do that and get to another tournament. Coming up next on the Cliff Ellis Show, Coach will break down the game against Charleston Southern. That's coming up next right here on News Channel 15. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber. Strand Orthopedic is a proud supporter of Coastal Carolina Athletics. Strand Orthopedic provides the best care from simple sprains to the most complex spinal or sports related injuries. It is our mission to get patients back to life and back in the game and help them resume normal activities in the safest and shortest amount of time. Get in the game with Strand Orthopedic. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. A community our employees are proud to support in every way, from coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed, but are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a Health Hero today. Southwind Engineering is a fast-growing architecture, engineering, consulting, and construction services organization. The principals at Southwind have a long-standing history of client focus, quality design, and technological innovation. Whether you are building your new dream home or your next major project, call the professionals at Southwind Engineering today to guide you through the process from start to finish. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Burroughs and Chapin. Welcome back here to the Cliff Ellis Show. A big win for the Chanticleers on Saturday over Liberty, but earlier in the week they went down to beautiful Charleston, a tough place to play. The Cracker Box, I've never seen it until then, but I agree with everybody that has that assessment. Coach, uh, a tough crowd. It's a small gym. You guys came in there, you battled. There's just a small stretch there where you, you kind of lost track of things. Well, it was a it was a dog fight. There were 20 lead changes, and uh, as we go through the highlights, you know, we're doing some good things defensively and offensively, and it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, in the end, we're fighting, but as we go through this first half, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to make it happen. We actually end up going in the locker room, you know, uh, in, in, in good position. But we know for 20 minutes, it's a 40-minute game, and it's just a, 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 a hard place to play, and, and you you got to watch these guys. They've been around a long time. had a lot of seniors on this team, and. Nimley scored 50 points in the last two games against us, so, you know, he's certainly a strong candidate for player of the year. And with that, let's take you out to the highlights, show you exactly how this thing went down. Coach, uh, Charleston Southern, the Bucks would take an early lead uh, as they were able to get stuff going inside and out, and they built a six-point lead right out of the chutes. Well, they did, uh, but we're going to hold steadfast and hold the course, and we're going to come back. And you do just that. Siobhan Wiggins with a jumper cuts it to a three-point lead. So all of a sudden you guys are back within three. Michelle Inaga, as you mentioned, his threes are starting to go in. He hits another big three, and just like that, you're up by 113-12. Well, a lot of games to be played, as we mentioned, 20 lead change in this game, and it's, it's going back and forth. Colton Ray's been fantastic all season long. It seems like it's another guy that just seems to continue to get more and more uh, involved in the game plan. He hit a big jumper and it tied it at 15. And then it's Badu doing what Badu does. He keeps you in the game and you're up again by one, 18 17. Well, it, it, like I said, it's up one, down one, up one, down one. But uh, it, it's like a rocking chair, it's <laughs> back and forth. Warren Gillis was the big difference in this game, Coach, uh, throughout well, the game. It was really his play in the first half that kept you in this game. No doubt about that. Uh, he was going at him. Uh, he had he had a tremendous game. I think 25 points, and you know he was his guard. It was it was a, a very good game by Warren. 
Warren gets a bucket here to put the shots up 26 to 25. Then he hits two big free throws down the stretch. He had nine points in the first half, and Coach, you had a lead at 33-32 at the break. Well, that's basically a tie game, and we talk about coming out of the box the first five minutes. We did that, uh, it, but in this game, it, it's going to be who can just make that little spread get a little bit farther out. But as we go into the first 10 minutes of the game, then we're in good shape because we pretty much are having the lead. But after that 10-minute mark, it's we have a two or three turnovers. And turnovers really lead to fast break attempts. I mean, those things can bite you. And we'll see them, I know, in the highlights. Uh, but they took advantage of it. And as you start the second half, Elijah Wilson picking up where he's left off, hits a big three. And coach, uh, you guys were up 40 to 39 back and forth, as you alluded to. Uh, this game was like that for about 30 minutes. Uh, they, they hit a bucket, you guys hit a bucket. You would go up by as many as four. And it looked like maybe at that point there was some uh, some motivation to, to kind of get this thing, to put this thing to bed, but that wasn't the case. Well, you've got like six seniors on Charleston Southern's team that knew that this was going to go down to the wire regardless. They've been in, we've been in so many fights with them. You hit a point where Nimley just decided to be Nimley. You held him down the first half, second half was a different story. It was between him and Wheeler. You got Wheeler inside, and then you got Nimley hitting the threes, but those threes by Nimley were just daggers. <laughs> well, he's a guy that can just make big shots, and uh, you know, he's, he's having a banner year. In a 30 second span between the 652 mark and the six mark, you went from down four to down 10, and that seemed to pretty much put an end to this one. All those turnovers, that was the key. I mean, we could talk about a lot of things, Brandon, but those three turnovers turned into seven points, and we went from a three-point lead to uh, being down, and uh, our guys had fight in them, but it was just, it was tough. They took, and Charleston Southern took advantage of it. And behind Nimbley and his three-point shooting, the Bucks would go on to defeat the Shawna Clears 83-72, handing the Shawns uh, another conference loss. But at that point, Coach, it puts you in a tie for seconds. But you're still, as you mentioned, it's still a race, and, and one loss isn't going to kill you. Well, there's a lot of road games. And for us to win this regular season, we're gonna, we got one more home game, but we're going to have to do what other teams are doing when it comes conference tournament time. We've got to win this thing on the road. And... Uh, so it's just the way it is. It's just a tight race. It's a great race. And uh, we're down to, what, four games, which is the conference tournament, three or four games. So it started really a couple of weeks ago with our homestand where we had uh, um, uh, UNC Asheville. And uh, uh, we had High Point, And then we went back on the road. And so we've taken care of business lately at home. And Warren Gillis talked a little bit about that race after this loss to the Bucks. It's a lot of urgency because you got you to win the next game, and uh, we're behind right now. And uh, everybody still has to play everybody basically for the rest of the season, but uh, we got to take care of our own business before we worry about what everybody else is doing. The HTC peak performer for this one against Charleston Southern was Warren Gillis as he poured in 25 points, one board, and 36 minutes of action. But, Coach, as we just saw in those highlights, he was the one that kept you in his ball game. Well, there's no doubt about that. He had a stellar game. Uh, and, uh, you know, proud of the way that he played. Uh, I know he'd like to have one of those turnovers back, but, you know, you can't expect him to be perfect. But he certainly had a great game, and he deserved to be our peak performer of the game in, against Charleston Southern. It's time for Shots Corner. Coach will sit down with Siobhan Wiggins when we return right here on The Cliff Ellis Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted Roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. Buckamon Land and Timber has been serving the Grand Strand since 1982. The ultimate goal of Waccamaw Land and Timber is the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt, or fish, the professionals at Waccamaw Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw Land and Timber.
Another trial, another battle. Where's your strength? Tenacity. What's your history? Fighting for my clients in court. But what sustains me now is working with three of the finest individuals I've ever known. My family. There's power in family. Power for our clients. Fighting for your rights is my family's business. Britain Law. Born to fight, bred to win. It's time to get your fun on at Broadway at the Beach. Specializing in one-of-a-kind shopping, shoppers will find treasures of every kind, from unique gift shops you won't find anywhere else to nationally recognized names. And while shopping, don't forget to refuel at one of more than 20 mouth-watering restaurants and eateries, where you can choose from the all-American hamburger and milkshake to fajitas and sushi. Broadway is also home to spectacular attractions and live entertainment. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Creek Rats. We're here today on Sean's Corner with Siobhan Wiggins from Charlotte, North Carolina. Man, I'm going to tell you what. You talk about a ball hawk, not a hog, a hawk. This guy really is the epitome of somebody that gets after somebody defensively. He handles our point guard position. He's got twice the, the assist that he has turnovers, which a coach loves. He brings it every day. And you know what impresses me, Siobhan, about you is every day you always are bringing it regardless of the circumstance in practice. Where do you get that uh, energy, that uh, passion for the game? Where did that come from? Well, I get it from my mom. She always tells me if you're going to do something, give your best job at it no matter what it is or where you're at or the circumstances, you got to give it your all. Well, that is a great lesson to learn in life. And you certainly bring that. Had to sit out last year, but was a big part of the Big South Championship run because every day he was guarding Josh Cameron to make him better. And, and this year, we're so happy to have him on our basketball team because he can do everything with the basketball. He can dribble it. He can pass it. He can shoot it. But he brings that passion of defense, and he runs the team. And uh, we're 8-2, and two, a large part due to him at this stage of the game. As we do Sean's Corner, it certainly will not be – eight and two, but uh, the early start uh, it has been attributed to a lot to the point guard play as well as the, our entire team. So I'm very proud of, of Siobhan and what he brings. My gosh, he's just a sophomore. Uh, so we've got uh, this year and two more. Uh, what's been the highlight for you thus far being at Coastal Carolina? What's uh, th this season alone thus far, what's been the highlight to you? Uh, this season this far, I think that when I Auburn was definitely the highlight of the year. You know, it was a crowded place, a great place to be there. There was a lot going to the game, and we got it done on the road. Well, I'm very thankful for it because it was a great night uh, for Coastal Carolina, but a great night for me, and you guys brought it home. And it was just a thrill to, to, to see that and be a part of it. And I'm just excited uh, to have you uh, here as a student at Coastal, but to be able to coach you. You're a joy and a pleasure to coach. And it's easy when your mom has taught you those values, it's easy for that to carry on. Uh, we're here today with Siobhan Wiggins from Charlotte, North Carolina on Shant's Corner. Coming up after the break, Coach and I will break down the week ahead. That's right here on the Cliff Ellis Show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Strand Orthopedic. So totally free checking is completely free? Yes, sir. Right. Next, you'll tell me there's free online banking. Actually, there is. Free online bill pay? Mm-hmm. No way I can get a free quick card, debit card, the instant I open an account. Check. Yeah, check. Like, free first order of checks? All included. What? And a free gift? And a free gift. Come in today and sign up for Crestcom's totally free checking. Stop by any of our convenient locations. I'm on candid camera, right? Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. At its heart, above all else, A&I has had a long-standing commitment to the community. Our driving force is our dedication to the people we serve. From Myrtle Beach to Florence, Wilmington, to Charleston. Every job is different and every community is unique. No matter what disaster has brought us to you. It's our commitment that will keep us here. We're proud to be celebrating 40 years of service to the Carolinas. And we're looking forward to 40 more. 
Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the nightly specials and how much they enjoy the live music. But when you experience that incredible waterfront view, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. A community our employees are proud to support in every way. From coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. The Cliff Ello Show is brought to you by Logan Steakhouse. Welcome back here to the Cliff Ellis Show. Another tough road test ahead, coaches. Now you take on Radford at Radford on Monday, and it doesn't get any easier. Oh, well, it's just <laughs> part of the way it is. and be a tough game because it's at Radford. They know what's on the line. We know what's on the line. Very little preparation. This is going to be like the conference tournament because we're playing Saturday. We've, it's got a six-hour bus ride to Radford on Sunday. Uh, so you got to get your legs under you. It's going to be more mental preparation than anything so we got to handle it like a tournament go in there and play and uh, just see what happens and of course Thursday nights back here at the HTC Center hosting Campbell it's senior night for two well-deserving seniors Josh Cameron and Warren Gillis coach it's going to be a fantastic night to honor those two young men well they've done so much for the program it's not their last home game because of the conference tournament uh, but at the same point in time it's a night in which we always honor our seniors and uh, my gosh, I'm going to miss those guys. I mean, they have, uh, they've been such a part of something good here. Warren for four years, Josh helped with us with regards to winning the tournament last year. And these two guys deserve to be honored, and they deserve a good uh, ovation and crowd uh, come Thursday night. But uh, Camel is, is, is on tap, and uh, we want to see everybody out there to honor these wonderful guys. So it'll be another exciting week of Big South basketball for this Shauna Clears basketball program. Of course, we'll be back next Sunday right here on News Channel 15 with another edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you next Sunday. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by the Britain Law Firm. It's time to get your fun on at Broadway at the Beach. Specializing in one-of-a-kind shopping, shoppers will find treasures of every kind, from unique gift shops you won't find anywhere else to nationally recognized names. And while shopping, don't forget to refuel at one of more than 20 mouth-watering restaurants and eateries, where you can choose from the all-American hamburger and milkshake to fajitas and sushi. Broadway is also home to spectacular attractions and live entertainment. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. Strand Orthopedic is a proud supporter of Coastal Carolina Athletics. Strand Orthopedic provides the best care from simple sprains to the most complex spinal or sports related injuries. It is our mission to get patients back to life and back in the game and help them resume normal activities in the safest and shortest amount of time. Get in the game with Strand Orthopedic. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed, but are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a Health Hero today. At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted Roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. The Cliff Hello Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber.